Well, my biggest concern going forward is that uh, people continue to heed the warnings and uh, that they stay home and stay uh, out of the way of emergency agencies and power companies, especially the power companies who are trying to restore power and who are having to deal with fallen trees. Uh, it requires that people be very cautious about downed power lines because uh, you won't know whether they're live with power or not, so just take the precaution and assume that they are. I think that is the greatest concern. I think the, the real danger is people will look out the window now and say, well, it doesn't look too bad. You know, maybe we should get on the roads or go to work or, or do other things. Uh, we shouldn't be deceived by that. This storm has come in waves, and there is another wave that is in the process of coming toward us now. And from the standpoint of the danger, it may be even more dangerous than any of the other because it is primarily ice associated with sleet and freezing rain. So I think that's the difference is that the weather patterns have been different, the timing on the storm has been different, and fortunately in that regard it has given us a little lead time and preparation time, and the waves have also allowed us in between the waves to go in and do some cleaning and treating of the roadways which has improved uh, their conditions as well.